the Nike Tiempo Legend 8 Elite, and the Adidas and the Adidas Copa 19 Plus. Which one should you buy? The Tiempo and Copa lines have been competing with each other for a number of years now, but it hasn't really been much of a competition because the modern Copa series up until the Copa up until the Copa 19 Plus has not been very popular, and with the latest Tiempo Legend 8 Elite just coming out now and being kind of underwhelming depending on what you were hoping for in a next generation Tiempo, these two boots, while they're in the same heritage category, there's not a lot of heritage to either of them, and they're actually very different football boots. So the question is, which one is better and which one should you buy? Let's find out. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and would like to see more comparisons on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like and let me know which comparisons you'd like to see down below in the comment section. Also, if you're new here watching for the first time, I don't wanna miss out on daily football boot content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. While it has nothing to do with performance, top end football boots are expensive and there is a significant enough price difference between these two with the Copa 19 Plus retailing for 275 US dollars while the Tiempo Legend 8 Elite is cheaper retailing for 230 US dollars $45 less expensive. So while it's hard to say that any boot over $200 is a good value for money, technically the Tiempo is a better value than the Copas. But I will add that if you're interested in either of these two boots for the best possible prices, you do not have to pay the full retail price. So if you click the first link down below in the description or the little pop-up in the corner of the screen, there will be links to the new release page on my website where you'll find buy it now links for both of these boots with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick them up below their normal retail prices. The main reason why you buy a football boot from the heritage category is typically for the high quality premium kangaroo leather upper, which technically both of these have, but one definitely offers a much better touch, at least in my opinion, than the other. The upper of the Tiempo Legend 8 Elite features a kangaroo leather upper with a very interesting diamond texturing that is simply there for the sake of looks and really offers no variation in regards to feel other than maybe thinning out and slightly compressing the leather. It also has a fly knit tongue that actually wraps the entire medial side of your foot. It's what they're calling a fly knit tunnel. Has nothing to do with performance, really doesn't change the overall comfort level of the boot, but it does add more bulk through the midfoot, which is something that I'm not a huge fan of. And then also in Internally, you're going to find the quad fit system that works directly with the lacing system as your main structure element. It's the main reason why there's no stitching to the upper and it legitimately does a good job of holding your foot in place while still maintaining the softness of what is supposed to be a heritage style football boot. The issue that I have with this boot is when it comes to touch. It's not that the leather isn't soft, it's not that it doesn't feel premium, it's that there's just too many layers of material between your foot and the ball, and I guess more specifically your foot and the leather upper. When you put on a leather boot, you want to feel connected to that leather upper and you don't necessarily get that sensation with the Legend 8. It's not to say the touch is bad, but I don't think it is up to par with other leather boots currently available. The upper of the Copa 19 Plus, however, while still made from kangaroo leather feels completely different. Simple and pure, I think, are the two words that describe the touch on the ball provided by this particular football boot, where you have what they call a fusion skin upper, combining an elasticated prime knit material towards the heel and midfoot area that kind of seamlessly transitions into this super thin, pillowy soft kangaroo leather through the forefoot toe box and part of the midfoot as well. Really giving you this touch on the ball that is thinner than you might expect, but very, very soft. It's one of the most unique sensations on the ball that you'll find from any football boot currently available, not to mention they're also laceless, which I honestly don't think makes for a huge difference in regards to overall touch. The laceless system, I think, has a bigger impact on the overall fit and feel of the boot, something that we'll get into in just a second. But purely from a touch standpoint, I really feel like if you're after the ultimate kangaroo leather experience, or at least the better kangaroo leather experience between these two boots, the Copa 19 Plus is the clear winner in this category. However, I will say that the Copa 19 Plus is quite thin overall, so if you value having a little bit of protection, that's part of the reason why you're buying a leather football boot, you might prefer the feel and touch provided by the Tiempos. Also, the Tiempos have ACC, because that's super important. <laughs> 
Something that really separates a classic kangaroo leather football boot like an Adidas Copa Mundial to more modern stuff like the Tiempo and the Copa 19 Plus that I have here is the lockdown and responsiveness that these boots provide versus the old school stuff. When you have a straight up leather upper, the touch is great, but the lockdown due to the stretch of the leather and lack of structure definitely suffers. And when you're talking about these two boots from that perspective, again, I really feel like there's a clear winner here. The Copa 19 Plus, considering how thin and soft the leather is, actually provides decent overall lockdown and responsiveness. Its ultimate downfall is the fact that it does have a laceless design, which I would make the argument that this is the best laceless boot Adidas has ever produced. And I would also argue that it's probably the best laceless football boot of all time from a fit and lockdown perspective. What you're going to find with this boot is that the midfoot area, this little area right here, is actually much more structured than you might expect being kind of a reinforced prime knit material, but there is still a good amount of stretch to it, which does mean that the lockdown upon a quick cut or a change of direction, when there's a lot of force being applied to the upper, there's gonna be some rollover, there's gonna be some stretch, there's gonna be some movement with your foot inside of the boot. So if ultimate responsiveness and lockdown is what you're looking for, due to the laceless design of this particular boot, it's just not as good as other options out there. The Tiempo, however, is just on another level when it comes to responsiveness. The internal quad fit system in combination with the lacing system really does an excellent job of keeping your foot locked in place and giving you a truly speed boot-esque responsive sensation despite the upper being so soft and really not having any hard spots to it. That is the one improvement that I really feel Nike have made coming from the Tiempo Legend 7 Elite that these replace and that there just isn't any structure that you can feel to the upper, but somehow when you put them on and tie the laces tight, your foot is locked in place very, very securely. So from a responsiveness and lockdown standpoint, these destroy the Copas. What I personally look for from a sole plate and stud pattern on a modern leather football boot is something that is decently flexible, but also has fairly aggressive traction with a more traditional layout, typically conical studs. And you're going to find variations of that from both of these boots. But again, I feel like one is just clearly better than the other. The sole plate feature on the Copa 19 Plus is what they call an exo frame, which is basically a stiffer, heavier variation of what we've seen many times before on previous variations of the modern Copa as well of the sprint frame sole plate, which honestly, I really feel like if they just took the sprint frame with the external heel counter from the Copa 18.1 that these replaced, put it on this boot, it would be infinitely better because this sole plate is just very mediocre. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, but it doesn't feel exceptional in any way at all. And then when it comes to the stud pattern, it is the same layout you'll find across the entire Adidas brand, but with these kind of triangular shaped studs, there are some perfectly round ones thrown into the mix as as well but again the traction seems kind of uninspired where the sole plate and stud pattern on the tempo legend 8 i feel is just a better interpretation of something that still has that classic feel to it but at the same time has the modern innovation that you're looking for either way the hyper stability sole plate is really flexible through the forefoot more so than the copas especially out of the box but it also has good rigidity through the midfoot and heel kind of has a speed boot-esque vibe to it but not taken too far and as far as the fg stud pattern is concerned it's not not FGAG like you'll find with the Copas, which I guess is a bit of a downside. If you want one pair of boots to play on multiple playing surfaces, if you play on artificial grass regularly, I would strongly recommend buying the AG Pro version of the Tiempo Legend 8 with a different sole plate and a different stud pattern. But as far as FG stud patterns go on natural grass, this is a more aggressive stud pattern and I just think it feels better in pretty much every single way. <laughs> While it's not the most important element of a modern leather football boot, I still think it's pretty important because it's part of what separates boots like this to something like a classic Copa that by modern football boot standards is above average in weight. So it's not really much of an opinion thing. Let's just throw them on the scale because the numbers don't lie. In a size 9.5 US, the Copa 19 Plus weighs in at 8.5 ounces, the equivalent of 240 grams. Where the Nike Tiempo Legend 8 Elite, also in a size 9.5 US, weighs in at 7.6 ounces, the equivalent of 215 grams. That's a weight difference of 0.8 ounces or about 25 grams between the two in favor of the Tiempos, which definitely do feel lighter and given the better lockdown and better responsiveness provided by this boot, 
partially due to the quad fit system and lacing system versus the laceless design of the Copa, it does end up feeling a lot lighter when you're actually playing in the boots, but that's not to say that the Copas feel heavy. The winner of this category is the Tiempo, but as long as weight isn't a huge priority for you, I don't think it should be a deciding factor between these two. <laughs> Considering that these are both football boots with a kangaroo leather upper, they really couldn't feel more different from each other. Obviously, one has laces, one does not, and that makes a big difference in regards to the overall fit, lockdown, and really the feel of the boots on feet in general. The laceless system of the Copa 19 Plus, what they've basically done is they've given it a predetermined shape that is... Fairly narrow, fairly tight fitting, very low volume overall, which I think is part of the reason why they fit so well. They're definitely a little trickier to put on versus the Legends, um, just due to the fact that you can't loosen the upper or anything like that. And once they're on your feet, given that you have the proper foot shape for them, they have a nice tight wrap. There's really not a lot of excess space, at least for me specifically, but because of the laceless design, there is no adjustability. So how they're gonna fit you specifically is something that's really gonna vary from person to person. Where the Tiempo Legend, with its lacing system along with the quad fit system internally just works with pretty much any foot type and it also has more width to it in general the adjustability makes a big difference in regards to the overall quality of the fit and that's not to say that the copa 19 plus fits poorly but definitely in terms of being able to achieve the best possible fit that's going to come from the tiempos without question as far as comfort is concerned i think they're both comfortable boots in their own way in terms of like overall softness and having a more padded feel definitely the tiempos but comfort is such a personal thing and i think these are both very good in terms of overall comfort it's hard to pick a winner there as far as width is concerned i think if you have a wider foot you're going to be much better off with the tiempos in general because of the adjustability they offer with the quad fit and lacing system and as far as sizing goes i'm wearing these in the same size 9.5 us and the fit and the length is perfect. So whether you're going Tiempo or Copa, I would recommend going true to size. So when it comes to comfort, I can't really pick a winner here, but when it comes to fit, I definitely think the Tiempo edges out the Copa. So if you've been keeping score, then you may have noticed that the Tiempo beats out the Copa pretty easily, but that's only when we're talking about objective performance, which is definitely important when talking about a top end football boot or football boots in general. But when you're talking about a football boot with a kangaroo leather upper, there's something that needs to be prioritized over everything, and that is touch. The special feel, the special level of comfort that you get from that soft leather upper. And I feel like the Copa 19 Plus does that way better than the Tiempo Legend 8 Elite. So my conclusion here is that it does depend on what you're looking for. If you're after objectively the best football boot, that's the Tiempo. But if you're looking for a special experience and a tremendous leather touch on the ball, definitely the Copa 19 Plus wins. And for those wondering which one I would pick, I would be happy to wear the Tiempos in all honesty but the touch and the softness and just the experience of a Copa 19 Plus, while there are so many things about the boot that I'm not overly crazy about, I just think it's that special. So between the two, if I had to pick, I'd probably pick the Copas. Wow. I'm even surprised at that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in either of these two boots for yourself, first link down below, it's gonna take you to the new releases page on my website, where you'll find not only these, but all the new releases with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. we will be able to pick them up below their normal retail prices. If you have any questions regarding these two boots, regarding anything that I talked about in this video, leave it down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information also linked down below. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.